Hi everyone, following on from my previous video of how to tie 2 inch hook lengths the correct length for every time, I thought I'd do another video showing you how to tie any hook lengths the correct size for your rig sticks and your rig boxes etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a rig box. So let's clear some space a minute. So here we go. And then what I've done is, just for the, the benefit of the video, I've just tied a couple hooks to line. So, you know, you tie whatever rig you want to start with. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hook the hook end on this end and put it right at the very top. And then we're going to do a five inch hook length. So again, you're going round the line right at the very top. Bring it back round. Hold it with your other hand, and you can see both lines are running right next to each other. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pinch here both lines. So you're trapping both lines, and then you're going to gently pull away from the hook and pull it off of the pin. So now we're, we've got that held at the right length. We're going to grab our loop tie like that. And then what we're going to do here now is we're going to get our other hand and with these two fingers hold the line and bring your fingers down so nothing's moved, they've still got that loop in the right place. And then we're going to adjust that one and we're going to bring this one over the top of that one. Then we're going to grab our hook tie and we're going to go down from the front, hold it in there like that, twist over once. And then I put my finger on the side to stop it moving and then I use this finger to direct this loop and we're going to go just over the front peg here like that up through and then pull that down now like that so that goes down to there and then what we're going to do is you watch when I pull this forward this bit of line that's around the back peg we go right over the front and then about here I'd normally wet that before I pull it down but you pull that tight and then I'd normally grab the hook in my hand pull this one and the tail end I'd pull with my teeth to get it all down nice and tight but I just do it like this for the video and then you can, that can come off now and then we grab our scissors and cut the tail end off like that and now when I put this hook on here and go across I'm going to, have to change my fingers this will be the exact correct size for your rig box yeah so it's perfect every time you can't go wrong if you follow that so I'll show you again on a rig stick so we've got a rig stick here we're going to do a 12 inch length hook length so what we do is we start by hooking the hook again right at the very top and then we're going to bring it round like so back round around this one and then I'm going to pinch up there so I've trapped it at the right length yeah everything's you don't want to put too much pressure on it, but you don't want it loose. You want it to be tight. So now I can, now I've got that held, I can go back up a bit and take that loop off and still holding it at the correct length. Right now, I can, with my other fingers, so I've still got that loop, I can grab this further down, even further. So I've got a nice long loop. And then I'm going to again bring that over, loop tire in through the middle and pull that, pull the tension it over and put my finger on the outside, get my other finger, put that around the front peg, pull it up like that, up, around, that loop you can see has come off of the back in 
pull that wet that before we pull it tight pull it tight take it off cut the tag end get your hook put your hook on to there around the end and that is the correct length perfect every time now what I'm going to do as well is just so then because obviously it's hard to see the line on the video I imagine so I'm just going to show you how the loop tie bit works with a bit of string so it's easier to see so obviously you'd be holding your, your hook length at the correct size once you've gone round your pegs and then you bring this hand back like that so you've got a good amount of loop and then you're going oh so getting view the video and going over like that yeah so you're holding both over the top and then you put your finger over it like that there then this one goes over there so you can see now look that both of them are at the back peg over the back peg and then you're going over once so i go away from me finger on the side to stop it moving it can't fall off then use this finger on the other loop and then this one is going into this front bit like that as you can see these two around the back one this single loop is around the front one and you pull it up and then once that's pulled up you go like that and you watch the back two will slide off and go into a knot like that then you normally wet that and put down obviously being string it's not going to pull down properly and then you just take that off and that is your loop done using a loop tire it's that easy hope you like the video i'm gonna try and do some other ones as well so give me a like and a subscribe and i'll see you soon thank you